Welcome back, everybody. It's almost 6.30. Let's take a look back at what's making news headlines this morning. South Africa has recorded 61 more COVID-19-related deaths, taking the number of total fatalities to 18,370. These include 14 deaths from the Eastern Cape, 21 from the Free State, 11 from KwaZulu-Natal, 4 from Gauteng, and 11 from the Northern Cape. The cumulative number of tests conducted to date is 4,505,533, with 24,000 179 new tests conducted since the last report. Recoveries now stand at 629,260, which translates to the recovery rate of 90%. EFF leader Julius Malema says suggestions that criminals have been targeting farmers are a gross exaggeration. He was speaking outside the cynical magistrate's court in the Free State where two, where two murder suspects appeared for bail application. Sekola Matlaleza and Sekweche Matlamba are accused of murder of 21-year-old Brandon Horner and their bail application has been postponed to Monday and Tuesday next week. Members of various political parties protested outside court yesterday. Malema says it's unfortunate that farm attacks have been racialized. Kwasulu Natal police have confirmed that an additional five suspects have been arrested in connection with the murder of farming couple Glenn and Vida Rafferty at Normandian outside Newcastle. The Rafferty's were shot multiple times on their farm at Normandian when they returned home in August this year. A vehicle suspected to be used in the commission of the crime was also seized as part of the ongoing probe.